Hello everyone. In this video, we will be discussing the management of early breast cancer. In a previous video, we talked about the different categories of breast cancer, early, locally advanced and advanced. If you need a refresher, feel free to check out that video. The management of breast cancer can be broken down into three main categories, managing the breast, managing the regional lymph nodes and managing metastasis or systemic management. Let's start with managing the breast. For early breast cancer, breast conservation surgery is a viable option. This means that we can perform a lumpectomy or a wide local excision with post-operative radiotherapy for the breast. During a wide local excision, we remove the lump with an adequate resection margin. Another option is mastectomy, but it does not offer superior survival benefits compared to breast conservation surgery. It is preferred when the patient has a multicentric disease, a large tumor size, is pregnant, or when there are positive margins after excision. After mastectomy, Post-mastectomy radiotherapy may be necessary for those with a high risk of local recurrence. Now let's move on to managing regional lymph nodes. This can be done based on whether or not there are clinically positive axillary lymph nodes. If there are palpable lymph nodes on clinical examination, a core biopsy can be performed. If the nodes are positive, we may proceed with extreme lymph node dissection. If the biopsy is negative, we can do a sentinel lymph node biopsy and proceed with appropriate management. If the lymph nodes are clinically negative, we can proceed with an intraoperative sentinel lymph node biopsy and proceed with further management. Lastly, let's talk about systemic management for early breast cancer. Adjuvant and neoadjuvant therapies are the primary methods of systemic management. The choice of adjuvant therapy is based on the tumor characteristics including the size, the grade. The grade is usually categorized as from C1 to C5 where C1 is an inadequate sample for assessment, C2 is benign and C5 is malignant making C3 and C4 in between. And also the number of lymph node involvement and estrogen, progesterone and HER2 positivity is considered. Adjuvant therapy can include endocrine therapy for ERPR positive disease, chemotherapy and biologic therapy. Neoadjuvant therapy can be considered for those with HER2 positive disease and triple negative disease. It can also be used for locally advanced carcinoma to downgrade the tumor to early breast carcinoma and proceed with further management. And that concludes our discussion on the management of early breast cancer. In summary, early breast cancer can be managed through breast conservation surgery such as lumpectomy or a wide local excision with post-operative radiotherapy or through mastectomy which is preferred in certain situations. Management of regional lymph nodes can be done depending on the presence of clinically positive lymph nodes or otherwise with sentinel lymph node biopsy. Systemic management can be achieved through adjuvant or neoadjuvant therapies which are based on the tumor characteristics and may include endocrine therapy, chemotherapy or biologic therapy. Overall, early breast cancer can be successfully managed with appropriate treatments tailored to each patient's individual needs.